Hello and welcome to our number talk. Today we are looking at the expression 91 minus 56. What we do in a number talk is we use mental math. That means no paper, no pencil to try to solve an expression. And then we look at all the different ways we could have used to figure it out. So before we go any further, let's do that. Pause the video, work out 91 minus 56 in your head. When you have your solution, unpause the video and we will look at all of our strategies together. So the first thing that we could always do when we are subtracting in our head is to add up. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our smaller number, which is called the subtrahend, and we are going to start there, and we want to just pretend like this is a number line, and we want to add up, and we want to get to our next 10. And our ultimate goal is to get up here to our 91, our larger number, which is called the minuend. So we have special names for the larger number, and the smaller number. So we took a jump of 4 to get to the nearest 10. We want to take a big jump to get to the nearest 10 we can to 91 without going over. And that's going to get us to 90. So that's a big jump from 60 to 90. And so that's going to be 70, 80, 90. That's a plus 30. And then, boop, we just got one little jump left to get us a plus 1 to get from 90 up to 91. Then we add up these three chunks. We got 4 and 30 is 34. Add the 1. Hopefully this is the difference that you had in your brain, 35. So we can also use a strategy called compensation. So what we do is we're going to change our subtrahend here. We want to make it easier to subtract. So I'm going to add 4. The reason I'm going to add 4 is because if I get up to 60, look how easy this subtraction problem is. 91 minus 60. No regrouping required. So that's going to be 31. But remember I added an extra 4. And I really subtracted 60 when I really only should have subtracted 56. So I added 4 and subtracted 4 more than I needed to. So I actually have to give those 4 back. So since I took 4 extra away, I've got to give 4 extra back. And that gets me back up to my 35. So we can also count back, and that's kind of like adding up. Except we are going to start with our menu end over here. And we're going to just do some backward jumps until we get to our subtrahend here. So we're going to take a backward jump up to 90, and then let's do jumps of 10. So we're going to do 80, and we're going to do 70, and we're going to do 60. And those are all the jumps of 10 I can take. I finally now can take a jump of 4 and get back to my subtrahend, which is my smaller number, and that is 56. And if I add up all of my jumps, I've got 1 and 10 make 11, 21, 31, add the 4, gets me back to my 35. Now, constant difference is kind of like what we did with compensation, but there's a slight change. So remember, we added 4 to our subtrahend to make that a little bit easier, right? So we made that a 60. But we can also add 4 to our menu end. So we can change both of those. And since I added 4 to both, it's, it's a balanced expression. It's the same distance apart. So I've got a new problem, 95 minus 60, but that's the same difference apart as 91 minus 56 because I added 4 to both terms. And look how easy that is. No regrouping required. 35. So those are all the different ways I can think of to subtract 91 and 56. If you have another way, that's fantastic. Go ahead and add that as a comment on the video. Teachers, if you would like a copy of this slide deck for your own use in the classroom, you can find it on my website at 5minutemath.net.